Hey guys, it's Sutanri here. I just wanted to uh, make a somewhat of a short video. Um, here lately I've been working on the audio for my stream and I wanted to do, uh, do it where I could uh, play music for the stream but not have to physically listen to it myself and I could just focus on the game. Um, the only uh, solutions to that problem that I could find on Google or anywhere else was to download some sort of virtual audio cable. But after spending all day setting it up, I realized that there's an easier method if that's the bare minimum of what you want to do. If you want to be able to control all the volumes separate and, you know, uh, the separate volumes of separate applications and have them distribute, all of them distribute louder to, uh, to the stream than they do to you, or if you want to listen to both, uh, then you're probably going to have to use the like virtual audio cables. But for this, this is specifically just a method that I found that if you want to listen, like want to play music on stream but not listen to it yourself, and it's actually fairly simple. If you have, uh, if you have uh, the Realtek audio drivers, so like if you go to playback whenever it loads, yep, go to playback and you have the Realtek digital output or the Realtek digital output op optical or whatever if you have any either of these all I did was go into the settings go to the audio it's not going to show it here because this is not the uh, thing but I went here I went to desktop audio and I put you know my headset that I typically use and then on desktop audio 2 I did the real the real tech digital output so I just have it feeding to two uh, two desktop sources and then for the mic of course I would put my codec or my uh, USB audio codec which is my uh, audio technica AT 2020 but it works uh, fairly well uh, so far I haven't seen too big of issues I I it took me all day to set up that uh, virtual audio cable stuff but then I had to take it down because once I opened up an application that I had not configured all the settings got jacked up and I wasn't about to sit there for another six to eight hours fiddling with it again so this was just an easier method um, and I mean I I think it's so much easier also um, a guy posted a video on how to uh, take uh, Spotify and reroute the sound which is what I actually have routed to the Realtek and uh, I'll put the link in the video description of where you can get this piece of software but if you go to uh, you can get this it's called audio router It is very, 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 very interesting. Because all you do is you go to like you extract it into and then you, you extract it into your folder or onto your desktop like I did, and you just click on audio router and then it'll pop up with this. Then you can go to Spotify here and hit route. And then you pick real tech. Right. Okay. And then boom, it does it. It's a so much easier than having to download that that plugin for Spotify that I couldn't seem to get to work. But yeah, so now I have Spotify streaming uh, or playing to my stream, and I don't have to hear it. And the I you know I record and test all the volume levels to make sure that uh, one's not more overbearing than the other. But of course. I'm always looking for feedback whenever I do stream, but all right. Well, if this video helped you guys, uh, feel free to leave a like, or if it didn't leave a dislike, um, all the links I mentioned will be in the video description below. I'll even link to the virtual audio cables. Um, if, um, if, if you want to see more videos like this, where, um, I figure stuff out the hard way and then let you know, then, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.